We had another support call raised by a customer that wanted to make a sheet metal helix that was in fact conical in shape as well. And I'll run you through this procedure now. It actually requires a couple of 3D sketches, but to generate the 3D sketches I'm going to have to do um, a construction surface. If I start off on the top plane with a very simple sketch, it's just going to be a circle. And this is going to be the size of the helix that we want to create. So if I go to insert curve helix, I can specify the, the, the height, the revolution, or even the pitch of a helix. Click OK and we've now got a helix or a helical curve in space that we can use. <clears throat> to make sure that the sketch that I'm about to draw is normal to the curve, I'm going to insert a reference plane on that curve at the end point, which means it's normal to the curve. If I choose that plane and go to sketch, I can now put a very simple sketch line in that's going to represent um, the inside face of my sheet metal part. So if I paste one end to the helix, let's define it with the damage side now. Because the customer wanted it conical in shape, I'm going to put a slight angle on it like so. I can then use my surfacing commands to sweep, use this as a profile and sweep this around the helix. So if I go to swept surface, I can sweep that around there like so. Now if I open up a 3D sketch, I can select the outer edge, the top edge, and use convert entities. That brings the outer edge of my sweep into my 3D sketch. Now one requirement for what I'm going to do shortly is that I actually have two separate sketches. So I'm going to exit my first 3D sketch and open a brand new one. And this time, select the smaller helix, the inside edge, like so, and press convert entities. Once again, I can exit, exit that sketch. I'm now done with this construction surface. So if I click on it, I can say hide. I'll hide this plane as well, so it's out of the way. And you'll see we've got two 3D sketches. Now I've got this far, I can use the sheet metal lofted bend tool to loft between one to the other. I can obviously set my thickness, and if I just say OK, I've now got a helical, conical sheet metal part. And you should see I'm able to flatten it like so.